Shalom Kharim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Guys, we have a very eventful evening this evening. Uh, should be coming up here a little bit later tonight. We will actually be uh, having John V. Wells, the former uh, Coast to Coast host, as well as the host of Caravan to Midnight here on Israeli News Live, talking about World War III the propaganda, the issues that are going on uh, all in the background here, things that are going on. John, we, we reached out to him to come on the program tonight. And of course, news is breaking like nuts around here. Uh, the United States, the Obama administration doing the most outlandish things that could possibly be done. Uh, of course, accusing Russia of spying on uh, on the Clinton campaign when there's been so many experts that have clearly stated that it was coming out of uh, their own administration there. Uh, but no, they want to blame the Russians. And of course, Obama wants to leave a legacy of shame behind. And of course, anything he can do to humiliate Donald, uh, President-elect Donald Trump as he's coming into office with the expulsion of 35 Russian foreign ministers uh, with new sanctions added to Russia only to infuriate Russia. And I can tell you, by the way, another thing too, the issue on the downing of the TU-154 uh, coming out of Sochi, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if Russia ends up keeping that a little bit under wraps there. It is clearly, without doubt, it was done intentionally. There is, as we brought out, proud this saying, uh, you know, issues with, uh, you know, radio electronic attack on it, accusing the CIA and NATO being involved. It's been a lot of tit for tat. Is Obama going to lead the world to a world war? What's going to happen? Have no idea. We'll be talking tonight with John B. Wells on that, as well another issue that we'll be sharing with you, and that's something I have right here on the screen. I was on the program earlier today with uh, uh, Pastor Begley uh, of the uh, television broadcast Apocalypse Now, and uh, he brought up something to me. He said, Steve, you remember when we were there, Yehuda Glick's office at the Knesset a few months back, we interviewed him there, and uh, he was mentioning about there is no more two-state solution. And, of course, Pastor Begley had given me permission to use the footage of that. We had shared it on Israeli News Live, even with uh, Pastor Begley on our, on our program sharing that. That went around the world. And uh, today, or yesterday, John Kerry actually quotes him. Let me play just a clip of that for you. John Kerry quoting... Uh, uh, quoting the very interview that we did. And, and Pastor Begley made that comment. He says, was he watching your news or mine? Have no idea, but he got it from one or the other. Listen to what he says here. In fact, one prominent minister who heads a pro-settler party declared just after the U.S. election, and I quote, the era of the two-state solution is over, end quote. And men and quoted exactly right, but he was sure trying to get it right. And I'll play exactly what he did say. Listen to this right here. Here it is again for you. Listen to what uh, 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 Rabbi uh, Yehuda Glick, who is a Knesset member, listen to what he said there at the interview there. Very interesting uh, thing to hear there. There's no two-state solution option. Uh, it's too late. They had a chance in 1947. They had a chance in 1967. They had a chance in 2000. We passed that stage. Everybody whose eyes are open understands that there's one state, the Jewish state, and we give full human rights to women. You heard it, Yehuda Glick saying there is no two-state solution option. Now, John Kerry does identify him saying that he was a representative of the settlers. And, of course, Rabbi Yehuda Glick, uh, even in this interview here, uh, uh, Pastor Begley asked him about this. He does say that, yes, he does represent the settlers in Judea and Samaria. And uh, so that's exactly what we have here. And uh, But then again, there's one more. I'll share this with you. We'll be going to this tonight again with John B. Wells. But listen to this one. This is the shocker that threw me for a loop. And that was when Shimon Tov who uh, is an Israeli, a Jewish-born a Jewish born man there, Israeli, a uh, believer as far as Yeshua, and he had this to say from a former aide of uh, Ariel Sharon. Listen to what he says here in his interview that I had with him in Israel a few months back. Mentioning names, 
But several years ago, I was at a Bible study, and we got a phone call. And it was a woman that was a very close aide to Ariel Sharon. She was weeping uncontrollably on the telephone. And after a few minutes, we finally calmed her down and said, what's going on? She said, I've just been in the boardroom in the Knesset, and they just, there was a number of dignitaries from the United States, from a number of countries in Europe, and they just essentially agreed to a division of the state of Israel and Jerusalem. And it's, it was signed by the, the prime minister and all of these different people. And I don't know if it's important to all the names right now because I don't want to jeopardize anybody's life. But I'll tell you, there was something put in place at that time. And I've watched, like I just explained to you, I've watched the infrastructure begin to be put in place. People are saying there will never be a Palestinian state. The infrastructure for a two-state solution, we have watched it for a long time. That's why I'd asked him to be on the interview at the time, uh, Shimon Tov, because I know Shimon Tov also had saw the same things that I've been seeing in Israel for several years now, infrastructure for a two-state solution. I'm Stephen Benoon. Let's get ready. John, hope we didn't forget about the interview tonight. Shalom and good evening.